One reason I love smartphones is they're so darn versatile. Not only are they great for mobile filmmaking, but they can also be great for traditional filmmaking too. And that's what we're going to look at today. Hey guys, Blake Calhoun, and this is the Benbox, which is an affordable wireless video system that works with smartphones, tablets, and even some computers. Simply put, this sends a wireless video signal to your device, your smartphone or your iPad, and that way you can use it as a monitor for your camera. And you can also control some of the settings and functions of your camera, depending on which camera you're using. And that's what these cables are for. It's great that they include these and are for a variety of different models. Note though, there is no HDMI cable included with this kit. And for those wondering, yes, this will work with smartphone cameras too. We'll come back to this in just a minute. All right, so you've got to download an app. It's called the Inky app, and it's on iOS or Android, and it's free. And so you download, install it on your phone, so you connect your phone to the transmitter via Wi-Fi. So you open your Wi-Fi settings, you find the bin box, and then you enter a password. And the default password is simply one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once you enter that, you don't have to do it again. So now we just need to connect this to a video source. All right, so here's the unit. I got my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera here. This is the 4K model. And I've got an HDMI in the output here. And I'll connect the input. And I'll put this on the cold shoe. You can see here, my phone. I've already got a video signal there. That's pretty cool. I like this is all metal. This is very solid construction. Even the cold shoe mount is metal. Lots of times they skimp on this kind of stuff, and make it plastic. This is very solid. Now I can see the video signal coming from my camera. Let me adjust the exposure. You can see it changing on the monitor here. And the latency is very good. It's very, very small latency. Now this particular camera, you can't control like you could a mirrorless or a DSLR camera. That's what those cables I showed earlier were for. Those are for connecting to a camera. I'm actually shooting right now with my Sony that I can control that. Blackmagic, you're just using it as a monitor. But the really cool thing about this setup is you can send this video signal to multiple devices. I believe up to four, I could be wrong about that but it's really nice to be able to use your phone and an iPad and a laptop, whatever you wanna use as a monitor, a wireless monitor out in the field. 720p is more than fine for a small monitor like this and it probably is better for the signal and the latency. And then you've got different controls here. You can put up a grid, you can put up, looks like zebras. Yeah, you can do zebras. And then you could even drop in LUTs here because right now, actually, I am shooting in Blackmagic RAW, so the image looks a little washed out. And if I had a LUT, I haven't installed a LUT on here, I could put a LUT on here and then the image would look correct, color corrected. And you can update the firmware, etc., from the app. So now I've got the same signal on my iPhone and my iPad. So imagine having your client in one room, a video village, you're out with the DP or the director, or you could even walk around set with this. You might have a professional monitor connected to your camera right next to it, but then you could be anywhere on the set or out on location. You could be under a shade tree. You could be over at craft service, eating a ham sandwich, whatever you want to do, because this has a 100 meter range within line of sight. So that's what 300 plus feet for us in America that don't know the metric system. And so really impressive setup here, especially for a device that's about 100 US dollars. And as I mentioned earlier, this will control certain cameras, exposure, ISO, etc. Although with this Sony a6400, it currently won't but a firmware update is coming. Right now it will only do file playback and of course work as a wireless monitor. 
Lots of camera manufacturers offer remote control apps, but they don't do what this one does, especially as it relates to range or simultaneously streaming to multiple devices. And of course, this one is more or less universal too. You could also use this device as a monitor when shooting with a smartphone. Let's say you're using Filmic Pro. You just need another phone or an iPad along with an HDMI adapter. You might be thinking, why not just use Filmic Remote? And of course you could, and it will give you camera control, which this won't, but it doesn't have near the same transmitter distance range. And this device will work with other apps too. So it just really depends on what you're needing. Note that the input signal is 1080 HD or below. So no 4K input. Your device will need to down convert that if needed, which most will do no problem. The battery life is pretty good. It will last three and a half hours and it has pass through USB-C charging. So you can charge it with a USB power bank and use it at the same time. I haven't mentioned this yet, but this is actually perfect for doing gimbal work. I think that's actually why it was created. It's small and light weighing only 125 grams and is ideal to mount on a camera when on a gimbal. That way a client or a director could easily monitor those kind of shots. Now, during my testing, everything didn't go perfectly. I lost the connection once when I tried to go inside from being outside and I had to restart both the Binbox transmitter and the app to get it to work again. Not a huge deal, but a little bit of a pain. I wish it would have reconnected on its own, but otherwise that was really it and it did perform well. Overall, this is a solid piece of gear and allows you to do higher end production work on a budget. And so for those interested in this kind of product and those kind of shoots, I recommend checking it out. Thanks for watching guys. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.